All the more reason to be on our way. Something must be done. We're to reach into the Holy Light Lancelot and take the position behind the Wallister. On Tynemouth Hill, to be exact. With Wallister matched elsewhere, Tynemouth may have but light defense. Better place to break through the line. Of course, Lancelot will aid us, I'm certain. We move. There's not more to be done in this wretched place. off we were we refused to take part in a war crime and because and the people responsible for the war crime nonetheless framed us for it and we are now a pariah so now what we gotta do get the time with hill and ask for help from lancelot and hope that god willing um, he can get, uh, he'll take our side on the situation and not, you know, try to get us killed. Take a quick look, look on this. So no immediate decision points yet. First two. First stop is I'm using a strategy guide, but the official Brady game strategy guide for this release, by the way, is Yaknuck. But first, let's take a quick look at the Warren report. Yeah, as you can see. This is a decision point. Now, theoretically, if I... Now, once I beat the game, I can go back and play the branches as I see fit. Uh, but yeah, I'd hoped that, oh, if I picked not doing the massacre, aside from just not being a nasty piece of work, um, Ravnus would survive. Uh, she didn't. Oh, well. Talk. In West Coast, place of Musa, there are no survivors. Balma Musa was set aside for the Wallster with King of Galgani and all those who perished were of Wallster blood. The women and children were spared no mercy of town of Gulf and flames. The kings were thought to be an act of retribution for, by the Galgastani for the recapture of Amorica Castle by the resistance. Arafat Balba, Balbatos maintains he's not responsible. Hearing of the fracture of Musa, factions in the Galgastani camp have risen up against their leaders. They sought to oust the hero front, but army factions have crossed the rebellion with a savage display of force. Any of the army are seeking to incite a coup d'etat, and the chain of command is in tatters. Walter Resistance has placed a bounty on the head of the young hero of Goliat, who recaptured Amarca Castle. That'd be us. They have named him as the one responsible for the massacre at Bahamabusa. He has thus far evaded pursuit, but is now in hiding. The bounty stands at a staggering 30,000 goth. This is because I know what actually was going on, and they'd like me to keep that to myself and the grave. The monsters indicate the forces, reports indicate the force of the Walser resistance led by Duke Runway, amassing in the Pisanji Wells near Bertane Keep. Those honey now make up almost ha about half the resistance army. The battle lines no longer as clearly drawn as in the past. It seems a final push we made in the coming days. Basically, the Galgastani who were um, who were against the who found the massacre distasteful joined with the people who particularly carried out the massacre in their name. So, update for me, my character, we're in hiding, Vice, uh, Vice turned evil, Vice decided to take part in the massacre. Dame Ravnus, 
What I just mentioned is she's currently believed to be dead. She's currently dead. New title, Fallen Hero. Uh, the greatest cutscenes. Oh, okay. So, this one. Okay, so we hadn't actually watched this one yet. This this happened before the, we started. It's why it's important to check the warrant report. Galgistan, I heard. Another calling. Not just those who bared steering against Balbatos. The nobility, the nobility backing them lost their heads as well. Half of Galgistan now flocks to the resistance. Just as the Duke planned. The ground shifts beneath us. The resistance takes Cortani and the war ends. Remain strong. All things in their time. The means are more important than the end. All things in their time. Though my blood be not true, it does not lessen my love for the Wallister. In the end, which is more important? I can never forgive the Duke. For warriors to die on the battlefield. Ravnus. You must save the Wallister. Light their way. Ravnus? Can you hear me? Ravnus! Denim. Build a new home for our people. So, yep, Ravnus is dead. And that's because he we saw last time. Here's what we got to work with. It's somewhat appropriate that Manchu recruited uh, Valkyrie to replace the, the Valkyrie who... Ravnus, who was a Valkyrie class, who kicked the bucket. Valkyrie is kind of equivalent, you know, if, if you can tell from the, uh, sorry, from the sprite, is the female version of Rune Knight. Or Rune Fencer, rather. So the classes I'm looking for aren't available yet. We take a quick look back at the packets over thread so you can see which classes we're looking for. We need a ninja. Terror Knight. I'm going to get either a ninja or a terror knight. Um for the two clock for the two people who wanted to join in. And if you by the way would like to join in as well, go ahead and post in the there's gonna be a thread on RPG Net. Uh, there are, not going to be there is a thread on RPG Net for this discussion. Before we move out, we have a fight here. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.